I've covered how to track and find players in a video, so I figured I'd reverse it and share with you six ways DayZ players can go undetected. Number one, sneak attacking. Spotting a player, whether it's at a well, inside a building, or just in general, and sneaking up on them to get a clear shot tends to have a high success rate. Different forms of footwear are louder than others, so to avoid being heard, here's the loudest and quietest shoes. Boots are the loudest, followed by the spawn shoes, and barefoot or the improvised feet wrapping are by far the quietest and allows your character to sprint crouch behind zombies and not get spotted. Although being barefoot is a good temporary option when sneaking up to someone, staying barefoot isn't sustainable because the character will get cut feet. But if you're on grass, you're five times less likely to bleed in comparison to the road or concrete. You won't bleed with the improvised feet wrapping, which is craftable with two rags, but the shoes degrade twice as fast as the athletic shoes and four times faster than boots. For the cheap cost of two rags to craft, I don't think that will be a problem though. Sneak attacking zombies is also another stealth way if players are nearby, because it prevents zombies from making the loud aggro sound which is heard from a fair distance. Number 2. Burying Bodies You can bury dead zombies and players with a shovel or pickaxe which removes any evidence of a kill. Alternatively, if you don't have a shovel or pickaxe, you can skin players with a sharp tool which prevents players from seeing its stage of decay to know how long ago the player was killed. Skinning bodies also stops flies buzzing which starts at the 10 minute mark of death. Another option is to just kill zombies in remote spots like bushes where other players passing through won't find them. Number 3. Camouflage This one's a basic one but still one that I wanted to add. Camo clothes will help avoid being spotted and there's also the ghillie suit you can craft with 10 burlap strips and 4 netting and the ghillie headwear requires 2 burlaps and 1 netting. Not many people use this ghillie suit anymore as it takes so long to get all the materials and on a lot of modded servers there's an option to turn the camo net into a ghillie suit with a sharp tool. Number 4. Fires Lit fires are an easy way for other players to find you with smoke coming out of the chimney if it's in a house or the bright light it creates it's a beacon at night. If you make a fire for cooking or to warm up in a house, pick one where players can't shoot you through the windows and ensure the house isn't close to any points of interest like wells and police stations and etc. This is particularly relevant for Namalsk when you have to regularly make fires to heat up. Number 5. Stay off roads. Travel between locations next to the road rather than on the road. I couldn't count how many times I've been on a road and locked eyes with another player or group travelling in the opposite direction to me. It's always best to see other players before they see you and staying off the road is your safe way and will likely give you the upper hand. Number 6. Suppressors There are three types of suppressors you can find in military locations or you can make the improvised suppressor with duct tape and a plastic water bottle. Suppressed small weapons can be heard within 150 meters, with the larger guns having a 250 meter sound radius. The standardized, normalized and pistol suppressors can be repaired with a weapon cleaning kit.